<laughs> I, said, <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do that this morning because I can't breathe. But Jesus is so good. Our God is in control, steadfast, and movable. Nothing is impossible. So you guys, give a praise. Nothing is impossible. Everyone take a deep breath because we're going to greet one another and y'all don't need to be panting on each other like I am right now. So take a deep breath. And then when you're good, then tell someone good morning. Tell them your name. Tell them something unique about you. Just give me some minutes so I can catch my breath. Um, thank you guys. Thank you for being so welcoming to one another. My name is Shauna. I'm one of the pastors here, and we are so glad that you are here to worship Jesus this morning. And like Cedric said, he just wants to spend time with you. So even as we're here together corporately, he wants to spend time with each and every single one of us and touch our hearts in a unique way. And this morning during worship, just a few minutes ago, I just had this picture while we were singing one of the songs of Jesus' arms just being open wide toward us. His arms are open wide for each and every single one of us, and he's not turning his back toward us. His arms are wide, welcoming you, greeting you, um, ushering you in. And so allow him to meet you today. Allow him to fulfill your needs today. Allow him to give you all that you need today. In Jesus' name, he is here for you. His arms are open wide toward you this morning. So whoever needed to hear that, that was for free. Um, but now we're going to take up an offering. So <laughs> if our ushers will come forward, um, if you're sitting on the far left side, you know you've got a white bucket underneath your seats. Just hang on to it because we're going to pray. And then when we're done praying, you can pass the bucket on down. Jesus, we thank you. Oh, Lord, we thank you that your arms are open wide to us today. We thank you that we don't have to fear entering into your presence. We thank you because in your presence, God, is everything that we need, everything that we're worried about, everything that we're burdened with, the things that we're joyful of. Um, all of that is found in your presence. So just welcome us in, oh God. Help us to know that we are welcome in your presence. And we thank you, Father, that you are here to meet with us. We thank you, God, that you are here to speak with us. We thank you, God that you are so very faithful. And Lord, as we give of our, our, of our money, um, God, I know for some it's easy and they have abundance and I thank you that they give. And Lord, for others, it's not so easy and it's hard and they have needs and yet they give. And so Lord, I pray that you would touch each one, bless each one. And Lord Jesus, let your light shine. Let your kingdom light shine wherever your spirit flows in Jesus' name. And I thank you that we get to be a part of that. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, you can pass those buckets now. <laughs> Our ushers are going to collect them at the other end, so we're so thankful for the people who serve to make everything happen around here. We have summer baptism coming up in a few weeks. Yes, that's something to be excited about. It is a time of celebration. And if you're not getting baptized, then we want you to come and support those who are getting baptized. Because, like I just said, it is a time of celebration. Our brothers and sisters will be making a, a very public um, proclamation of their faith. And it is glorious and it is beautiful. And the presence of Jesus will be all over Lake Phelan. And you don't want to miss out on that. That is happening on Sunday, July 21st, 1 p.m. Lake Phelan. You're all invited. It's going to be a big beach party, and Jesus is going to be right there in the center of it all. Now, if you want to get baptized, there's three classes that we need you to take, and the first one is actually happening right now. So if you get up and leave, I know that's where you're going, and that's totally fine. And then there's two more following the next two Sundays during the second service, but you do need to take all three of them because they build on one another. Sound good? Otherwise, we'll all be there for the big beach party on the 21st, and it's going to be amazing. Now, the other thing I want to say to you this morning is that you guys have really stepped up and helped us out. As you know, during the summertime, we have a lot of our volunteers who are gone. 
I'm still trying to breathe. <laughs> we have a lot of our volunteers who are gone, and so many times we're short on volunteers, especially in the kids area, and last weekend was one of those times, and so we were concerned that we weren't gonna be able to have any of the kids be able to come back, but you guys stepped up, and so I wanna say thank you. Give yourselves a hand. Because you guys answered the call, we were able to open up rooms and get kids back there, and it's so, so, such a blessing uh, to those children and to the family. So thank you all so very much. Today, we are going to be continuing in our summer series, and we get to hear from a young lady by the name of Grace. Grace and her husband have been a part of our church for a couple of years. Um, they have volunteered in refuge and done a few things down there. She's a graduate of um, Master's Institute Seminary. She works there. She is a total blessing. I'm telling you guys, you're going to really enjoy it. And I just want to encourage you all to get ready to hear from Jesus, like hear from Jesus' lips to your ears this morning as Grace speaks and open your hearts and be ready to receive whatever it is that God wants to say to you individually because he does want to say something to you today and it's going to be amazing and it's going to be beautiful and it's going to be just what you need. But first, you need to wait just a couple of minutes because we have this video we want you to check out and then we're going to have Grace come on up. <laughs> 